Good morning people, this is Sam South Carolina Happy Bees on another beautiful flamboyant day here. My woodpecker just flew away. Uh, this is hive number 611 Magnolia Tree, it's a double deep eight. And they're just doing great. Going in and out of their little hive, bringing in pollen. I can't see them bringing in nectar. But I'm sure they are. Okay. Let's look, see here what we got. Okay, this one's got a yellow queen egg brood. Move some frames around. And that was on the second of last month. Hmm. A couple of bees up in the top, not much. What we got the feeder ring. Come on, girls. Maybe they'll move. Okay, this is the feeders. This is one, no bugs. Two, no bugs. This is three, no bugs. Make sure y'all can see. Y'all can see, okay. I don't have any eight frames over here at all this time. Break some of the wax off up here. Scraping his wax off because it could have eggs in it or something hiding in it or beetles or wax moth. Get off. There you go. Okay. This one here is a little crowded, so we're going to smoke that one. This one. Get the bees off that outside frame because y'all seen the queens out there before. You don't want to roll a queen at this time of the year. I just marked one. Went out, came back last month. He's laying eggs. It's not late, girl. It's late. Getting late. Depends on where you're at. We're making splits. And new queens. I do it when I have to. If I have a framed, I mean a, a hive that is making queen cells, <laughs> I'll do it. Now I got a blue queen back down there in uh, 440, 441. Okay. It's got got some honey up at the top. Got some nectar. And I don't think there's any eggs in there. Check the bottom for no bugs. Lean it up against the box that you took it out of, or the hive that you took it out of. Okay, this one here's got a yellow queen, a dark queen. She has a yellow dot on the right there. So I would say that frame there has, this is all honey here. I'd say she's laying eggs where she can. We're gonna put her back in so we don't mess with the queen. Stress the queen out. 
get her upset. She won't lay eggs for a while. This one here has brood. A couple of queen cells, I think. We got one queen cell in here. How do you know? It's a queen cell instead of a cup. Well, okay. Start with that's what's on the frame. That's brood. And that's brood on that side. Now, queen cell. Lost my queen cell, people. Oh, there it is. Queen cell right here. There's a little hole in there for communication, and they put a queen cell in there. See right here. Now, if you watch it, the bees will be going in and out pretty regular. And what they're doing is feeding the queen cell or the queen larvae. Okay, there's a larvae in there, so that's a queen cell. So these queens here figure it's not too early, or too late rather, to swarm and or whatever. Okay, that's an open queen cell, so we just put a straight mark on it. And I need them to get a little two-frame nuke, and I can put that in it. This time of year, I don't cut queen cells out. I just move the whole frame. And I'll give them a frame of food that goes along with it and the bees that goes along with it. And I'll put them in a three frame nook and I'll put them out here somewhere. And we'll see what happens. This one right here has brood and larvae. Sure, there's some eggs in there somewhere. I don't see any more queen cells. Got some drones. Now it's got a queen cell over here. This one right here is a queen cell. If you see the end's not closed up. But there's a larvae in there. See that bee going in there? Right here. Kind of a big hole, but we're going to leave it. And we're going to mark it. We're going to mark it right here. Now we might put both of those frames in the same box. This one has pollen, nectar, good frame. This side here, we have pollen and nectar and honey. Okay, now, we're gonna take this one off. Okay. This one has a queen cell. Queen cell is right here on the bottom. And 
we mark them so we know where the queen cell is, so we know where they're at, and we can sort of kind of protect them. And when we come back to the box, we can look at them and see how they're doing. This one here has a queen cell right there. Mark of where it's supposed to be. This one here's one had queen. Oh. Okay. And then this one here got food on it. What we could do too is put us a, you know, we could just take this box off and start a new nuke, but we don't want to be hurting the mated queen that's in here. Now, one of those queens, this queen over here, queen cell, that was at the bottom, people said that's a swarm cell. Well, yeah. This one over here, which is in the middle, they say is a supersedure cell. Well, yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a swarm cell or if it's a, a maybe queen or a emergency queen cell. If that queen hatches and that queen here flies away, and then she hatches, and then this one hatches, it doesn't. You know, it's whichever one's the strongest. So I'll leave them like this. And then this, this, this hive here has got, I mean, yeah, this frame here has got the big hole in it. I'll take it, watch this one. And when there's some seals, and this one here stays open, I'll leave this one in there. And then if this one they seal, I'll keep an eye on it. And talking too much here. Trying to explain things. Okay, let's see what we got in the bottom. We know where the queen is. Supposed to be. She she may have come downstairs. They're not real crowded, but they are a little crowded. So. Here they go. All on one side, so I got a little bit more room. And I built these dukes here. I built them a little bit bigger. I think I built them. A quarter inch bigger than what the plans showed. Used to get a lot of my plans and stuff from from uh, B source. They had a little thing over on the side. Mine still have it. I still look at them. I just don't look over there anymore. Uh, that had plans for different stuff. No bugs. Got some honey. You had a couple of old queen cells down here that never meant anything anyway. But that's down there. No bugs. And it up against the box. And I'm going to mention it again. I do not make queen, I mean, make pollen patties. I did when I first started, but I was missing some stuff in there because I didn't know no bit better. Now I know better. And I know what it, what they need in it and what more about what bees need. Had a beetle on it. No 
Okay, hat is right. Still hat. Ain't got now but the hat. Bottom. Looks pretty good. Queen can come down there and lay a few. I don't know why she why they're making queens of us. This one here is one that they're work working on. That's worker brood. Now what I might do is take one of these frames from up here and put it in here. And that's a thought. Let's put this over here. See all this down here, they're, they're not doing anything with it. This one here's got some pollen on it. Just pollen on that side. Everything that's dark has pollen in it. This one here has pollen and honey. And this one does too. It's got honey on the left, honey on the right upper, and where it's dark, they put brood in there. I mean, uh, pollen. A lot of little girls bringing in pollen. We're gonna put that back there. I put the queen down there. This one here had stores. Miss this, it's got a bunch of queens there. It's got one capped, one uncapped. How did I miss them and are they any good? This one is no good. This one is no good. The holes are too big. And there's no eggs around it, so. But we're gonna leave it. Let's just put it, see it right here, I'll show you. I'll show, I'll show it to you. It's right here, big old thing. But you see there's no bees around it. And that's a pretty good indication that that, that queen cell is no good. Because if it was any good, the bees would be only it, protecting it, keeping it warm or cool, and taking care of it. Now you got a stray bee every once in a while with a on it, but they're not. They, they jump off of it. We're going to leave that. We're going to mark it. this in here for the time being. Well, now, let's slide this one over and hopefully we can find the queen back on the same frame, huh?
this, look at this one. There she is, she did, she went to the other frame. She's right here now. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna take this one out. We're gonna stick this one here. We're gonna put this one, we'll put this one back in there. We're gonna put this one in the middle. that had the queen cell that we removed put it there put this one over this one over this one over and slide this one in there And we'll see how they do. Y'all do know we experiment things around here too, right? That's one of the reasons I took that one box. And um, we got the queen cell down here no more. We don't need that part. That's one reason we uh, mm -hmm. took that one box of checkerboard this late in the year. See how they're going to react, or if they're going to just act. Now, this is supposed to have a queen cell here that's wide open, and it's got a queen cell here. And we'll come back in a couple of days. See how they're doing. There you go, girl. Get a little bit of pollen there. And we still got time of the year. If something doesn't work right, we could always fix it. That, put it there. Yep. Take this one. Mm -hmm. We just get them a bigger feeder, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll put one of my famous to Sam <coughs> feeders in here. Okay, this is one of my feeders that I make. And that's a bottle, and I cut about a quart off of it. Maybe a half quart off of it. Then I take it and I mix these. I've got my wax melter in there and I've got melted wax. And I stick the whole thing in there, cover the whole thing with wax so the bees can get up and down better. And that's the only reason I put wax on it, so the bees can climb it. They don't have to work as hard. Then I put pine straw in it, so they don't drown. Helps them to get out when it starts getting empty. Yeah, 
Okay. Yeah, that's enough for food until. This in here still has some bees in it. Come on out, girls. <laughs> They're in the, uh, up here in the opening which is fine but I don't know if they can fly or not okay they're out now take this put up here make a little bit of piling here put it up here and we're going to close them up life is good hmm that's where it's hitting on the top hold on just a second And we'll just put this up there. And we'll put this on there. Now that's that. And y'all have a great day. Be careful. Give us a thumbs up. Comment. Share it with others. And subscribe. And be happy. Be careful. Be safe. We'd love to talk to you. Instead of just talking. Okay. Y'all have a great one.